there I put a 20 gigabit Seagate Barracuda 4 in there. This will work. Come on. Oh, maybe I should put the front of the computer back on. That might help me turn it on. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's there. Cool. So let's check our CD drive. Oh. Trip was going. I think this is the disc. I'm not really too sure, but find out in a minute. That piece of crap Mac store drive didn't work. Oh. Actually closed in the first try. Oh, nice. Delete. Yep, there we go. Neptune setup. Interesting. Probably should have set the bias clock back. Whoops. Oh well, I guess we'll find out what happens. Barracuda drive I in here, you can't even hear it. It's literally silent. I don't think you can hear is that loud old CD ROM drive there. They got 50 or not even a 52 speed, it's like a 24 speed or something stupid like that. Okay. <laughs> Windows 2000 professional setup. Uh, okay, it's kind of weird. Mm. Oh crap! There's not even an operating system on there, so let's continue. Uh, I agree. Yeah, let's create a partition. Seems like a reasonable idea. Hmm. Screw it, let's format the whole thing. Uh, NTFS or FAT? NTFS. Ah, eh, sure, what the hell. This will probably take a hundred years, so I'll stop the video and be back. Rebooting in two seconds. Oh, it's working. That's fast. A little too fast. Ok, 
too. Actually, that's why I have this tripod. Nope. Go in there. And bang. Alright. So, zoom in like that and that should be pretty much it. Alright. Do I have a mouse? Yes, I do. Look at that progress, brother. Just moving along. Huh? Let's see, we've got a wonderful 8 bit 16 colors. Hmm. Nice. Welcome to the Neptune Setup Wizard. Wrong mouse. Oh, wow. Alright. Alright. Okay. Here we are, finishing up the tune setup, so there's a CD in your drive, remove it. Take that out.
There, I got the whole thing in the frame. Kinda, sorta. Good enough. Finish. Cool. What the hell is it doing? I know exactly what it's doing actually. It, there's a service that wasn't quite ready when they were developing Windows Neptune and it always attempts to start it, the service on the first time that you start Windows Neptune for the first time so once this is over with I'll never have to wait through it again. Yeah, it's still responsive. Okay, this is longer than usual. Oh, spoke too soon. Enter the name of the first person using the computer. That would be me. Ha! <laughs> Screw that. That was my beta idea. Don't worry, you guys take that. Mine. Okay, so I guess it <laughs> freaking detected the graphics card I have in there and put some wacky high resolution, like 1280 by 1024. Yikes. What the? F I've seen this one before. Alright. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Okay. There. Me. No. Oh, nice. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, it's doable. Alright, that's a little better. So I guess I don't have sound. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, nice. So, yep. Version 5.0, build 5. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Let's go here. Yep. 5.0.51111. Intel Pentium 4 CPU, and it counts it in kilobytes, but it's 128 megs. I know that for sure. Let's go into the multimedia or if it sounds and multimedia. Uh, Asters. Yeah. Obviously, there's some. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, since this is based on Windows 2000. USB drive. Let's see if it sees it. 
This is kind of hit and miss. Oh, nice. Oh, what the hell? My camera has a mind of its own. Nice. That is the best. Cool. I can still sound drivers right here. Just go down. Which one is this? Give me a second. Oh, damn it. Stupid camera. Ouch. What? Windows was unable to save all of the data for the file device slash hard disk one slash dp bracket one bracket zero minus zero plus five slash icons the data has been lost this error may be caused okay oh nice Ooh, that, that that doesn't seem good well it survived this is the 6350, I think. Cool. Alright, no, then now that just sucks. Oh, shoot. Joking. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Cool. I accept. Next. Next. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Ah. Yes, I want to continue. Whoop. This is going to be loud. Okay, it's 100%. Alright. Want to restart my computer? Yeah, what the hell. Damn it, I should probably rip that USB drive out because I'll try to boot from it. Yeah, there, it'll give me a blue screen of death. So hopefully it won't take forever and one half. Oh yeah, first try, baby. And it's hanging again. Nope, no it isn't. Hard drive's still going, I just can't tell. It's kind of weird because it feels like I'm talking to myself sometimes. Sorry, that's just my chair. Hmm. 
Let's hope it loads before my battery dies. Cool. It's going to give me an error message right about now. It's going to be like F refers to a location that is unavailable. But maybe not. So we got sound, that's pretty cool. Let's plug this thing in again. For some reason I can never find the USB port. There we go. Alright. And error message. No, okay, that's that's actually good. Believe it or not. Let's there we go. Just copy over a few files here. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that there goes the errors. Could use seven zip later. Correct six could be useful. I think this is an Ethernet driver. Winamp and I think there's something else here too. No, maybe not. Good enough. Put that right in my dock. While we're waiting, let's just... Oh! Oops! Ha uh. <laughs> ha! Cool. Current date is... The 22nd of the January of the 1999. It is 8.03 p.m., which actually pretty close. I'm one minute off, or maybe it isn't. DirectX 5.0. Oh, that's finished copy. 126 megs of RAM. The other two megs are probably for the video. Even though it's a video card. Nah, I'll check on that too, actually. 54 megs of a page file. Uh, page file is bigger than my actual RAM. Oh no, it's DirectX 7. Okay, so I lied. Uh, thank you for telling me that. Now, um, yeah, 1600 megahertz, which pretty much evens out to uh, 1.5 gigahertz, even though it's probably uh, 1.7 gigahertz. Okay, let's just refresh this, because that's scary. This doesn't necessarily have to be open. I'll safely remove that if I can. Cool. Let's remove it from the system. Hopefully without a blue screen of death. <clears throat> Windows Vista. Let's see if it'll play a... Uh, MP3.